Scorpio, welcome. I hope you're doing very well. This is probably going to be a pretty vulnerable read for me to you today, which this isn't about me. It never is. Um, I want to thank you guys for the support to this channel. Um, I'm going to share a little bit of information about myself. Because one, I've been asking for your prayers recently, and two, I started this channel when I had nothing, when I was at complete rock bottom, so that I could document and show you that no matter what you're going through, you can learn from it, and there's, there's ways to overcome anything in this world. Um, I truly believe that. God, help me get messages out. Block interferences and negativity and return it to where it belongs. Thank you. Please protect us. Deliver information to us. Amen. So, I've been asking you guys for prayers recently and a couple weeks ago, a lump was found in my left breast. Next week, I'll go to have it tested to see if it is the C word or not. Either way, I'll have to have surgery to have it removed. I've never been through this. I appreciate every one of you who have watched this transformation and if you could continue to pray for information and for healing that's what I need I don't know what this is gonna cost me I don't know I don't know anything yet which I think is scarier than knowing what I'm dealing with or not it's the not knowing you could be going through a really emotional time right now as well. To those of you who send little super thanks, I, I really appreciate that as well. I've also told you guys from the beginning that I don't know if I'll do cards or not forever. Um, one of your very first phrases, the very first phrase on the board is the I, psychic ability. Trusting your intuition. You also have the ant, work, achievement, and success. You have Scorpio, the book, knowledge, Pisces, Pisces, and behind the scenes. I've never done this before either, but I've told you guys that um, I utilize every tool. I'm not for everyone. I, I, I never want to be for everyone. And if you're here to listen and you're here to learn and you're here to get any kind of messages, that's what I'm here for. So I randomly opened the Bible this morning because I've been wanting to do this for a year now. And sometimes at the end of these reads, nothing hits like these scripture messages. I mean, it just is what it is. Um, The message that I opened up to randomly for you is the book of Psalms, and it's Psalms 1. 
It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sinneth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Take from that what you will, but that was the message that I opened up to today. And me doing this, it hit very close to home, though I didn't even read it before I turn the camera on. This is normally where I offer personals, but I think right now I don't want to promise to be available in a way that, that I can't deliver. So let's see what is going on with you guys. The eye, psychic ability, the ant, work, success and achievement, the book, knowledge, Pisces, Pisces, gentle, sensitive, and emotional with behind the scenes. I saw something the other day that said, um, it was this guy and he was like, I never really understood why people get in relationships and then disappear off the face of the earth. They completely isolate themselves from the rest of the world. They're, you know, they're not active with their friends anymore. They disappear from their family. They're not on, you know, social media anymore. Until I found my own relationship and that's all I wanted to do. And that's what this is reminding me of. This could also be a relationship with yourself with the intuition here and kind of wanting to protect yourself and protect maybe this new found achievement or this new found thing that you're interested in. Some of you could be going through a pretty emotional time right now. For my feminines, you could catch yourself crying. As I'm reading this, the moon is in your sign. This is a time that you're probably feeling pretty powerful and a pretty magical time for my Scorpios. This is usually a very magical spiritual time for my Scorpios. Um, fall gives us new life. Somebody could have been born on the night of a full moon. You can look it up, research it, find out the phase of the moon uh, when you were born. It has a lot to do with uh, your, your daily, weekly, and monthly, you know, state of mind most of the time. This could also, though, have you very low-key. Like, I'm seeing someone in the woods at night by themselves, but they're happy. That's their, that's their ecstasy under the moon at night by themselves. I also want to let, speaking of the moon, I want to let you guys know of some things that are coming in this month. On the 8th, we have the Draconid Meteor Shower. On the 11th, we have the Aurigid Meteor Shower. The 17th, we have this Aries Full Super Moon. It's a Hunter's Moon coming in. The 20th, we have Orionid. Meteor shower. The 21st, we have Leonis meteor shower. 
I had a dream the other night that I was somewhere where it was completely covered in snow. It was a wide land covered in snow and I was with one person and we were taking pictures and videos of the night sky and the stars were so close and even though it was night and it was a blue, dark, deep blue sky with bright white stars, there was rainbows in it as well. Um, someone could be doing that or this could be the heavens right in your face. This eclipse that's just now passing, the solar eclipse, it's happening in your 12th house. This is all about rest, closure, transformation. On the 9th, we have Jupiter going retrograde in your 8th house. This is all about intimacy, close, bound, close bonds, um, death. It's going to stay that way until February 4th, I believe. You could be reassessing your long-term goals and especially right now, rebuilding boundaries, trust, getting to an even deeper level that you didn't really know was possible. Pluto goes direct on the 11th, which is when we also have, I think it's Aurigid. Aurigid. So we have a meteor shower and Pluto going direct. This is also happening after five months of Pluto being retrograde. I think I brought up May in your last read, but whatever you've been exploring or indulging in or ex just experiencing since May, it's like you're coming to an assessment time where you're going to be looking back on what has happened and what you want long term. This is also going to be bringing you, you know, this a new newfound clarity, a newfound mindset. You're going to have you're going to have crystal clear vision. Um, this is a brand new foundation time after Pluto, which rules destruction, has been retrograde. Your ruler. Make sure that you're getting outside. I don't know who needs to hear this. I know that when fall comes and us Scorpios being fixed and introverts most of the time, when fall comes in, you could want to grab your, your hot beverage, your scarf, your book, and just hunker down inside. But this year, this season specifically, my Scorpios need to get outside and be as grounded with the earth as you possibly can. Um, it, it, like I would say, it, it's extremely important for your mind, your body, especially, and your soul. We have the Black Lilith New Moon. It's a Libra New Moon. This could be planting seeds of justice. This could have you figure in one aspect of your life or in many aspects of your life. This could have you figuring, figuring out what is fair for you. Maybe in the past you've considered too many outside sources, you've considered everyone else, you've considered your child, your mother, your father, your co-worker. Something that you're dealing with now, you're going to have to figure out what is fair for you. Now while you're doing this, make sure that you come to, to your own justice without stepping on other people's toes or without offending anyone else. Lilith represents the shadow side of our emotions, so this could be a very intense time for my intense scorps. You could be having intense conversations, and these could be conversations that even make Scorpios uncomfortable and squirm a bit, but it's necessary. There's a deep wound that you're having to cut open in some kind of way or another. Yeah, this is super, super deep in a lot of Pisces energy just in your astrology messages, so I get it. You could be dealing with a Pisces, multiple Pisces, or you and Pisces are going through the same things. They are your sister sign. 
something could be happening as well that brings out emotions that you have kept down for a very long time. You could be feeling certain emotions that you haven't felt since you were 13, 14 years old, and now that you have these new eyes, you have to really feel it and know how to manage this. Jupiter retrograde is also putting relationships in the in judgment. Um, you could be, if, if you're single, you could be exploring relationships and finances. If you're in a relationship already, the two of you could be exploring intimacy and finances and f learning how to work together in both. So June, July, August, September, October. Yeah, the end of October to November is the end of a six month cycle. So it doesn't surprise me really that you're coming to an ending of a cycle that could have started up in April, May. Again, more energy of um, looking at what you've invested in, who and what you've invested in. Is it solid? Is it stable? And is it paying off? Some of y'all are using your intuition to work. Some of y'all are going to have to use your intuition with a situation at work. Some of you are using your intuition with another person. There's another person at work. Could be a fellow water sign that can tell something is going on. First message is Deuteronomy 33, 27. Someone could be born the 3rd, the 2nd, the 7th, the 6th, the 27th, the 9th. The 14th, the 5th. It says, The eternal God is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. On the back it says, Dear Lord, help us to give up our fears and anxieties and give ourselves fully to you. If you can, <clears throat> so I was just telling you guys to honor these showers, these moons. You're on, you're on like a mission for knowledge if you can, which I believe every one of you can, get outside at night. These showered in messages, knowledge, downloads, like one-on-one -on -one time with the heavens here. Help us to give up our fears and anxieties. Give ourselves fully to you. So deep, deep spirituality, deep faith coming in. You have Pisces at the top of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio at the bottom of the deck. Got Leo. Capricorn. Sag could be done with a cusper. 
Libra, Taurus. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. There's a lot of Capricorn here. Cancer. Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Pisces. Uh, the moon, again. Something is... Um, Something is super deep. Someone could be very, like, anxious. You might, maybe you make someone anxious or nervous. Something, something also could feel very, like, it makes me laugh to say the word cosmic, but that's what it's reminding me of, like, look at all that blue. And, Pisces Aquarius energy is very like space. Someone could be arguing or saying or there's anger in the background of you, so watch out for that. There's a certain frequency here that you're like coming in contact with as well. Someone here could be like purifying themselves, purifying their space. We've got the sun and the moon. Mystical. Wow. I think this is the first time that I've been grateful to see this card. There, I, I instantly get some kind of miraculous healing. This could be why the moon and your sign, this could be very deep for you. You could be dreaming about a lot right now. It's the overall energy. Thunder and lightning it came out y'all's y'all's last read. Here twice, power. Okay, messages, but thunder and lightning, power. You may find out just how, like, strong someone or something really is. Skull of stars. Endless possibility. We've got clouds with mystical and stars here. 
be dealing with an Aquarius or someone that's got a lot of Aquarius in their chart. Give the cauldron synergy and healing. Oh my gosh. This is super freaking powerful. Jack-o'-lantern protection. So something really strong and powerful from, from the Almighty. Like, I don't know how else to say it. From the stars, from the clouds. Healing, protection, healing. Your graveyard, unnecessary fear. Which isn't all fear unnecessary, like the, like, you know. You may also not be realizing it, but you're being protected from a lot. Um, undercover energies, devil energies, promiscuous energies prideful energies, angry energies, like resurrection, reprise, recovery, come back. People People, yeah, are witness. People, like, respect you for what you overcome. Like, how much you can overcome. Eternal youth, energy, newness, and vitality with healing and protection. Your first card was knowledge. Here we have enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. This is very like childlike energy. Knowledge is power, so you could be simultaneously seeking knowledge, but afraid of something at the same time. It's almost like I'm scared to know. You may be put in a position where you have to rip the veil off. Somebody could be getting really, really strict on what they consume, eat, drink, watch, listen to. Yeah. Damn, that, that's super strong. Somebody's also like protecting you like a person a person is
you could get some kind of news. There's going to be a bad side and a positive side to it. Spawn with Scorpio, Resurrection, Infinite Possibilities. Someone in, in the background could be saying, like, that you do shysty stuff to get ahead, but you, you don't. Like, you can't, you can't manipulate coming out of rock bottom. Like, you can't manipulate, you can't manipulate beating things that should have ended you. Don't even worry, exactly, you're not, don't even worry about what the haters say, who has time for that, when, like, nothing they say is accurate at all. For my feminines, people could be saying that you're a witch, and that's why you have what you have, and that's why you overcome what you overcome. Oh, Lord. Energy and healing. Some of y'all could be getting proposed to. Some of you guys could be deepening a, a bond that you have. Someone in the distance could be, yup, could be uh, like, yeah, you feel bad. Like, someone could be signing contracts in a karmic relationship. In this relationship, you're a big part of this relationship. You don't want to be, you honestly feel bad for the whole situation, so you're not paying it any mind, but you are a, a part of some kind of a triangle here. You may not even realize that you're a part of it, but anyway, you are. Let's see overall energy with unnecessary fear. Wow. But something's gonna be like um putting you back in you could be hearing from an Aquarius soon, twinning. Some of you need to check on your father. Um Pure and powerful. I've been telling you guys about how lucky I always get the closer I get to my birthday, which is November 16th. This is beyond luck. Some of y'all really need to hear, like, don't be scared. Bizarre. We have Taurus, Libra energy, which is Venus. Relationship, partnership, resources, value, environment, contracts. <clears throat> Someone could be in a commitment for material gain or so that they can survive. It's not... 
I'm not necessarily, necessarily saying it's like um, a gold digger type, but I am saying someone here is committed to surviving. Like they need, a, they need their house, they need their car, they need their clothes, so they depend on the other person for it. Mars energy, passion, anger, war, assertion, separation, competition, envy, desire, action, instincts, energy, attack, defend, pursue, impulsive. We have Mars and Cancer. Yeah, I feel like, damn. Fourth house energy, Cancer. Foundation, self-care, home. So... You kind of, you ignore this whole situation. One, because you know that these people only have hate, envy, jealousy, attack kind of energy for you. And you're very focused on self um, cleansing, your energy, healing. Saturn and contrasting, so that'd be Capricorn, Cancer, Karma, Order, Structure, Hard Work, Mature, Professionalism, Stewardship, Discipline, Time, Creator, Boundaries, Commitment, Organizer, Materialize, Slow Pace, and Stubborn, The Dark Helps Us See the Light, Choosing Wrong Helps Us Know What's Right. off into a completely different direction than everything you've ever been in before. This like a complete makeover or this could also be you heading into a very passionate connection. It's healing. There's a lot of karma involved, hard work. We got Capricorn, Scorpio, and the Sun. Leo, traditions, legacy, status, fame, Scorpio, the death, underworld, regeneration, rebirth, occultism, spiritualism, ghost, the unseen, you know. And then the sun, action, confident, passion, ego, masculine, ambitious, stamina, pride, identity, individuality, royalty, higher positions, good health, wellness, and vitality. Maybe going through a bit of a dark moment, but you'll be coming out of it. Aquarius, dreamy, rebellious, intelligence. Got a lot of Cancer and Capricorn energy here, which those are. Those are polarity, those are opposite, that's... Okay, I'm gonna leave this here and I will catch you in the tarot. Like, comment, subscribe, bye.